What's up, Sings Kids and Kids Worldwide? What's up, Sings Kids and Kids Worldwide? My name is Liz, and I am here with my awesome friend who is also a Saints Kids dad. Give it up for Bobby! What's going on, Saints Kids? I'm Bobby. But before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to my awesome wife, Diana, and my three amazing Saints Kids back home, Jax, Jonah, and Jordan. Guys, Dad's on TV! Yay! Liz, last week you guys started a series about the armor of God, right? Yes, you did. I can't wait to talk to you guys about all the pieces of armor and how they're so helpful in our walk with God. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us. But before we get right into the lesson, we are going to take some time to worship. Now, Saints kids, Bobby, I do need to tell you that the key word for today's PowerPoint is somewhere in the worship song. So we need you guys paying attention. So get up, dance, and worship with us. Let's do it.
close attention. I hope you are paying close attention too for that keyword on the song. Today's PowerPoint is, you must put on the belt of truth. So if you heard the keyword truth, you got it right. Now, I want everyone to repeat after us the PowerPoint at the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. You, you must, must put, put on, on the, the belt, belt of, of truth. truth. This is my pretend belt of truth. Okay, so tell us about this pretend belt of truth. Kids, I'm a martial artist. And in martial arts like karate, kung fu, or jujitsu, you get belts based on your rank. So as a beginner, you start as a white belt. Okay. And as you move up the ranks, your belt changes color until you reach your final belt, a black belt. Black belt's pretty cool because even though it's not an actual weapon, it lets your opponent or enemy know that you possess the skills and tools that you need to protect yourself in a dangerous situation. I practice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and in Jiu Jitsu there are a total of five belts. Okay. I'm halfway to my fourth belt and if I'm being honest it was a lot of work. It took a lot of dedication, I showed up every day, gave 100% of my effort even on days when I wasn't feeling my best. But in the end it was all worth it because now I feel confident defend myself in, in a dangerous situation. You know what's cooler than a black belt? What is cooler than the black belt? The belt of truth. The belt of truth protects us from the lies of the enemy. Man, I love that, Bobby, that's so right. Because I'll tell you what, when I see, when I've seen some people with the black belt, I know one thing, I do not want to mess with them. But like you said, obtaining that takes a lot of hard work. It's taking you a lot of hard work to get where you have been but it's the same way with the belt of truth. It's not a one day to another type of thing, absolutely not, you have to put in the work. And you put in the work by reading the Bible, listening to Bible teachings and preachings, listening to the Bible. There are so many ways that you can listen to the Bible nowadays. Um, even you know when you watch things kids or, or when you watch church online, that is always so helpful. When we read the Bible, we are reading the truth, and that way, no matter what comes our way, we will not believe the lies of the devil, because we have on the belt of truth. Yes, you must put on the belt of truth. To learn more about the belt of truth, let's go check out today's Bible story. Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know who He is and how much He loves them. When God created the world we live in, there were two people named Adam and Eve. They lived in the Garden of Eden, and they were friends with God. God gave Adam and Eve everything they needed and told them that they could eat anything growing in the garden except for the food growing on one tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God warned Adam and Eve that if they did eat from that tree, they would die. The Bible tells us that Adam and Eve had a very real enemy who wanted to twist that truth into a major lie. Their enemy was the devil, and because the devil can take on many forms, he came as a sneaky, sneaky snake. The snake came to Eve and asked her what God said about the fruit in the garden. Eve told him that God said if she ate from the tree, she would die. But the snake convinced Eve that that was a lie. He said, you won't die if you eat the fruit you'll know things that you've never known before. Eve listened to the snake's lie and got distracted from the truth. Not only did Eve eat a piece of fruit, she also gave some to Adam. Right away they realized they had done something wrong. God punished them because of what they had done and made them leave the garden where they had been living. Adam and Eve chose to believe the lie that the devil told them over the truth that God had for them. At that moment, evil and death entered the world and we're still battling them today. When we remember God's word, we put on the belt of truth. It is the part of God's armor that gives us the power to stand up against the lies that come our way. So when we hear things like, no one loves you, or you'll never be enough, we can know those are lies. God loves us, and because of that, he's given us all the tools we need to fight the enemy and win. With the belt of truth, we'll be able to detect lies and overcome them with God's powerful truth. We can put on the belt of truth. Wow, because God loves us so much, he wants us to know the truth. So we must put on the belt of truth. Now, Bobby, 
If I would have not read the Bible since I was a kid and listened to preachings and heard all that stuff, I'm not too sure where I would be today because a lot of mean things were said to me. So I had to remind myself daily about the belt of truth, the word of God, the Bible, and the things that God said about me. Yeah, and that's why you, put, you must put on the belt of truth. You know, in martial arts, it takes a lot. Three things I can think of are dedication, determination, and consistency. And if you have those three things, over time, you'll start to get the knowledge and the skills you need to protect your physical bodies from dangers of the enemy. Reading the Bible is similar in a lot of ways. If you read the Bible consistently and seek out the truth of God, you'll obtain the knowledge and the tools that you need to protect your spiritual bodies from the dangers of the enemy. Wow, that's amazing, Bobby. Thank you so much for sharing that. And talking about the Word of God and learning the Word of God, why don't we check out this month's Bible verse? about the armor of God and learn how we can become strong against the enemy. For sure. And thank you so much for joining us today and for helping us teach the kids to understand the belt of truth better. Now, I would love it if you could pray for all of us and ask God that he will give us that determination to put on the belt of truth by reading the Bible, listening and watching things about God. Awesome. Saints, kids, let's close our eyes so we can pray. God, I want to thank you for your presence, God. I want to thank you for the truth that you provide for us, that truth that becomes a protection over us, God. God, I ask that every child watching this service, wherever they are, God, may they seek your truth, God. May they do that with discipline and consistency, God. And may that truth become an armor over every aspect of their life, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Bobby. Now, here are some announcements before we go. We have Saints Kids YouTube every single week, starting at 8 a.m. on Sundays. We also have Saints Kids Zoom meet at 10 a.m. every Sunday. Now we know that your parents might be going to church in person and you might be going with them, 
but still make sure that you do not miss one of our episodes every week. Tell your parents to follow Saints Church NY on Facebook and Instagram for more updates every day. Now, Bobby, I have a question. Can you show us some of those jiu-jitsu moves today? I'm ready, but don't forget, you must put on the belt of truth. Hey, Saints Kids, hold up. Don't go anywhere because Mr. Bobby showed us some jiu-jitsu skills. Now, after we recorded, we realized that we didn't have any volume. So we tried to record it again for you guys. And I really hope that you have fun and you enjoy it. We'll see you guys. We love you. See you. Bye. Stay watching.